Delaware Sushi Experience freaking awesome. I've had Japanese food before and I really enjoyed it, but never before have I had raw sushi or sashimi. And neither do I know the difference between cheap and the high-end sushi or sashimi. So come with us and check out the difference between the unexpensive and the expensive here in Tokyo, Japan. Please subscribe, leave us a comment and a thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell. So this entire streetway is full of shops, food, and in the spring it probably looks very pretty because all the sakura trees are fried, the cherry blossom trees are fried, blooming, but only one is. <laughs> and there's many different types of cherry blossoms or sakura, so they all bloom at different times. So all the streets that lead out of the Sensuji Temple are full of commerce, restaurants, beautiful smells, a lot of stores. You will go crazy with the options here. Even though everything smelled and looked good, my dad was looking for one place in particular, and my dad was not going to give up. We turned the corner and there we saw it, Kuro Revolving Sushi Bar. This is the story of McKenna Travels. Come join us as we show you how we do it. So you come into the restaurant and they have a little machine here with a reception and you can punch in how big your group is and there's a ticket. And then you go wait until your number gets called and then the next ticket comes out and you can go to your table. In the first one, there is ginger that you can eat with your sushi or sashimi or udon, whatever you're ordering here. And the second is like a lid bowl or something with a with lid, and it's matcha matcha powder. And over here, that has the um, hot water where you put your dishes in. You can get a cup from the top and put some matcha powder in it and then put the hot water to get yourself basically a free matcha tea if you don't want to pay for the drinks. And in the second area, there are toothpick, chopsticks, and spoons for like dessert or anything else. The sushi is anywhere from a dollar to back max three dollars, so it depends upon what you're getting. Obviously, there's some of it that's a little cheaper at 132 yen which is about a dollar sushi and then it goes up to about three dollars sushi so like the little ramen bowls are about two to three dollars like here we've got um the salmon eggs and albacore tuna which is like 2.90 and 3.90 yen which is about two to three bucks it's really good for the price and you can just continue to order and order or wait till something comes around that you get excited about and you can grab and then you've got tons of desserts we've got cheesecake they've got chocolate pudding they've got these little like mochis we're going to order some desserts right now. I'm going to let you know how we go and what the total bill ends up to be because so far we have ordered 18 little plates. Um, so we'll see what the total after we order the desserts and we've had a couple drinks. We'll see what the total is for you guys. So I'll let you know. And here was my moment trying real Japanese sushi. And to my surprise, I ended up liking it.
which we all decided to stay and enjoy longer. For a dollar? Can't beat it. It's good. And actually, it's not sweet. It's actually really good. Now, McKenna got the most expensive. What'd you get? Uh, this, is, this one's about $3. So this is $3. Looks interesting. I'll have the first one. Uh, I'm going to take the yellow one. No idea what we're getting into. They're water... Mikana, what are these called? Water, water manju. manju. Let me know how you feel about that. What flavor is it? What is it? What does it taste like? What's in it? Describe it to me because I've never eaten it before. Maybe grapefruit? But what's in it? Like, I really don't know. Like, almost like a... It's like jello? Not jello. The outside is like jello. Or maybe like a... Like rice dough, but clear. And the, the inside, I really don't know. But it tastes like grapefruit to me. Mm. And here comes the most expensive. This is the four dollar <laughs> dessert. So there's a game and we're trying to figure out how to play it. Or maybe you need to play it at the beginning. Anyways, we can't get the game to turn on in ours. We see everybody else playing it at their table and they're getting little balls. And we can't get our game to go on. It's frustrating. I don't know what happened. Just... Okay, can you explain? Because you played the game. Um, I don't know. So they were driving in a car and they were about to run over some ducks. And so I just tapped and it stopped. But I, I don't know if I was so supposed... She was supposed to save them, if she was supposed to hit them. <laughs> no, maybe I was supposed to run over the ducks. No idea how to play the and game. And the thing is, it was a bunch of baby ducks falling on mother ducks, so I could have killed a bunch of children. But I don't feel bought from around. So we didn't win? I guess so. I'm not cool. This is what it means to play a game when you have no idea what you're doing. We're all waiting for these balls to fall out because there's something inside them. And the music comes up like we're graduating from high school, but nothing. It is a graduation song, isn't it? <laughs> so our total bill after 18 plates of sushi, which have like two sashimi each, uh, ramen bowl, four different desserts. So we got frozen mango, the parfait, the cheesecake, and then the water, water balls, whatever. Water things that were amazing. Uh, three drinks because we got rice, water, and we got two. Um, green teas which you can get free green tea at the table our total is 4,974 yen which is about $36 US total for three people so that's it there is no tip it's awesome so pretty cheap really good food highly recommend you come here and maybe you guys can do better at the games than we did And so it was our time to head back to the Royal Park Hotel. It has a fine dining restaurant on the fifth floor. If you haven't seen the review of the hotel, then click the link above. Guys, we have experienced the $1 food experience in Tokyo. So now let's experience the expensive food experience. So we're waiting for the restaurant to open, but this is where the awkward decision comes. How do you film this without making it awkward for other people and ourselves? So, coming into the restaurant, if you're lucky enough to get a seat next to the table, which we did, there is a nice, beautiful pond with a bunch of koi fish and a Japanese garden that you're overlooking or seeing right next to you. And it has um, a tea ceremony room in there, which is only open on some days of the week and only some times of the year. Yeah, that's basically it, but it's very beautiful. <laughs> We're doing the experience of a higher-end Japanese restaurant, so we'll compare it to our dollar sushi that we had yesterday where you book yourself in and you wait for your seats and then you order and 
it comes down to you. So, um, very nice restaurant inside our hotel. It's beautiful. So we're gonna order right now and we'll let you know where we go. We stopped in at Jinjinko, which offers one of Japan's best traditional meals, which is kaiseki, an array of tiny portions incorporating seasonal ingredients. Jinjinko does this superbly and also offers sukiyaki and shabu shabu and has a special tempura corner. The restaurant overlooks an exquisite traditional Japanese garden with a beautiful koi pond. Since we dined at Jinjinko in March during Sakura or cherry blossom season, we were able to try kaiseki with mouth-watering Sakura-themed offerings. The restaurant offers this from March 1st through April 7th, and the Sakura lunch course is approximately 7,128 yen per person, featuring Japanese dishes made with seasonal ingredients that are beautifully presented, and they evoke images of blooming cherry blossoms. One of the most iconic fish in Japan is the koi, also known as Nishin Kigoi. Koi have been loved in Japan, and they have been characterized by strength and success for a very long time. Now that we have shown you the dollar sushi versus the more expensive Japanese food experience, we hope you will come to Japan and enjoy your own experience here. Thank you for watching our channel, and please subscribe, leave a comment below, and ring the bell for our next video notification. We'll see you next weekend, guys.